Sometimes during the modeling process you want to perform certain operations and you don't have enough geometry to work with. I've got this uh, simple little LightWave logo here. It's just um, 3D text and I want to curve it. I want to bend it. So I'm going to make a copy and paste it into layer 2 and in layer 1 I'm going to take and modify, bend, and I'm just going to bend it forward. Okay, Something like that and let's see what happened. Well, we got some problems. Um, OpenGL is actually handling it pretty well, but the, the model isn't. There's no way we can take this... The, now we got a bunch of non-planar polys. There's no way that this W can do this. There's not enough segments uh, in these letters to, to pull it off. Now in the G and the E, there's, there's some to, to, to work with, but it's still, we can see, non-planar poly. That's not going to, to render properly and it's it's kind of a mess and it's it's even more of a mess on that H back here. But just know it's not going to happen. We really need more segments to work with. So uh, it's not an option in the text uh, tool. So um, let's just hop over to our clean model before we just destroyed it with the bin tool. And know that this isn't limited to 3D text, um, but all we really need to do is add some, some extra segments. Now, I could come over here, like say to the, to the L, uh, Shift K for the knife tool, and start adding segments this way. Okay, But what if I wanted to have even segments, I wanted to evenly space segments, and I wanted them through uh, all the letters? Well, I could work really hard at drawing the knife all the way across and then carefully lining it up or I could use a tool that's designed especially for this which would be the Julian tool. If I come over to multiply, subdivide more and choose Julian, what I can do is decide how many divisions do I want and let's just for fun let's do 24 divisions and I can pick the axis that I want it in. I want it running down the Y in this case, but I could run it across the X. I could run it um, down the Z. But let's use Y. So we're going to have 24 segments running down the Y. I'm going to click OK. Now, it creates and puts in the background geometry. So if we come over to this layer, we'll see it made a bunch of thin, it's just a bunch of, of thin polys. Okay. But as you can see, it's sliced through. Okay, we can just delete this geometry if we don't need it. We can just d d delete it, but I'm going to keep it there just so we can talk about what's actually taking place uh, behind the scenes. Okay, so now I've got these segments. Let's see what happens if we go over to modify, bend, and let's bend that forward, kind of like what we did earlier, uh, and we ended up destroying our logo. Let's see if, um, if this looks better. Well, look at that. I'm not seeing any ingon, or sorry, any non-planar polys. I'm not seeing uh, those those problems that would happen uh, if we went to to go render, because I have the segments to work with so that it will bend properly. Okay, so sometimes you need to add that extra geometry so that you can you can get a nice clean bend or twist or something like that, some kind of operation like that and you want to evenly space the uh, the segments, well the Julian tool does that. So what's what's taking place? What's the Julian tool doing? Well it's very similar to, let's um, let's think about what this this might be like. I'm gonna put the the cuts in the background and I'm just gonna draw a box okay and we can see uh, the geometry right there and what I'm gonna do is come over to construct, drill, slice, down the Z, click OK, and it's the same thing. So what's happening is is that we're getting uh, the, the slice operation, but we don't have to create the geometry to do the slicing. Okay, So if you want to know what's going on behind the scenes, well that's what's going behind the scenes. It's creating a bunch of the, the um, the polys that we can use to uh, do a slice command. So it's the equivalent of the slice command in the drill option, but uh, it does the work for us. We can have even, you know, even segments. It's going to evenly space it out, and uh, and we're we're good to go on that. It's a good way to to slice up our geometry to get much cleaner. Look at this W, 
and look at this W. This is just not usable. I mean, it's we've destroyed our model. But with more segments, now we've got something that we can work with. So again, quick look at the Julian tool.